Hi, I'm Milena Moser. I'm a writer from Switzerland and I'm here to talk to you about writing, my experiences, share my tricks and quirks and whatever. Um, today I want to talk about the difference between writing and being a writer. There is a whole world in between those two. Too clever? Okay, sorry. <laughs> so anyway, a lot of people who come to my workshops who want to write, it turns out they don't really want to write, they want to be done writing. They want to be published. They want to be a writer. And they have all these ideas what being a writer really means. You're famous. You're rich. Everybody loves you. When you wake up in the morning, there's rose petals in front of your bed. And so you step barefoot on top of those soft... And not really. Being a writer means you're someone who writes. You're someone who'd rather write than do anything else. Someone who makes more sense while writing than while doing other things. Being a writer, being out in public, doing readings, book signings, interviews, stuff like that. It sounds glamorous, but it's not really because a true writer is not someone who likes <laughs> to go outside. I mean, you know. If we wanted to be social, we would have become actors, but we're writers. And we're writers because we make more sense when we're writing to ourselves. For me, writing is how I make sense of anything. Not only my life, but everything around me, life of other people. Um, the world. Wow, big words, huh? So if you don't have, um, if you don't find something in the act of writing all by yourself, nobody can see you, nobody can tell you, you're doing great, this is wonderful, except those perky little monkeys on your shoulders and in your hair. Um, go do something else. Go do something with instant gratification. One of um, my many, many favorite writers, John Irving, I liked him so much that I used to call him my fiancé, but he never knew about that, so that's fine. Um, he compared writing to wrestling. That's his sport, right? And he said, you know, all the, the practice you do, all the training you do for those 10 minutes of the actual wrestling match, um, if that's not something you enjoy, forget about it. And if you think of writing like a sport or like playing an instrument and you think about it like, oh, maybe I want to play the piano, but let's first check out when Carnegie Hall can fit me in before I even start learning. That's ridiculous, right? So why should writing be different? Why should writing be um determined by will I be published, will I be successful, will I be loved. Writing, writing is writing, writing is writing. 